Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today we're doing music and we're doing an album. It's been forever since I've done an album and we're doing Ariana Grande's new album called Sweetener. And I'm doing vertical video because my webcam and my computer just can't take it anymore. <laughs> so I had to do this on my phone. So uh, anyway, let's just jump right into the songs. Um, the songs I'll be skipping over will be The Light Is Coming, God Is A Woman, and No More Tears Less To Cry because I've already done reviews and reactions for those songs. So um, I just want not I just want to gloss over those. Because those were um, good songs and I'm right and I already done separate videos for that. So it's kind of like being a dead horse if I do it again. So anyway, let's just jump into the first song called Raindrops and Angel Cried. Wow, that's the opener for this album. That was really, really good. I really love that. Her voice is just incredible. Wow. Uh, A plus, obviously. <laughs> um, next song's called Blaze featuring Pharrell Williams. Let's focus. That was a okay song. I will probably give this a C. I wasn't really feeling Pharrell's beat. Her vocals were really good. I just was not feeling the beat at all. To me, it just... No. <laughs> I just felt like the beats were just a touch stale for me. Like I feel like I've heard that so many times in a bunch of his songs. And I just feel like it just should be switched up a lot more when he's putting out music and stuff. So I just wasn't feeling that song. It wasn't really my cup of tea. Um, so the next song is The Light Is Coming featuring Nicki Minaj. I already done a review for that. And so we're going to jump over to the next song called R.E.M. Ooh, vastly better. I like that bum 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 part. I thought that was really uh, cute so, um, part of the song. I really did like that one, that little part. So far, the song's pretty good. Okay, that was a really good song. I'll probably give this one a B plus. It was pretty good. Um, it was just like a nice little mid tempo song, and like I actually really enjoyed the lyrics because like if you're, it's like a dream tour, so it's just like don't wake me up in this. So basically, for people who don't know, REM means like REM sleep, which means you're like in a deep sleep. So if someone is like a dream, she doesn't want to ever wake up from that dream, and I just like the little message of it. I thought it was a really good song. So. The next song is God is a Woman. I did a video for that. It was a really good song. So we're going to jump over that and go over to the song Sweetener. Thank you. 
Okay, um, this sounds pretty good. I probably would give this a B, strong B, yeah. Um, I do like the song. Uh, it has a nice little beat in there. It's just a couple of little quirky things. I just I feel like I could have switched up a little bit more. And who who produced the song? Hang on. Uh, uh, yeah, it's um, Pharrell Williams. I thought he did actually pretty good on the song. I didn't know he also did uh, Rim, too. That was a really good one. Um... Let's see. Sweet Note was pretty good. I really liked it. Um, I don't know. There's really not much to add on it. So we're just going to jump into the next song called Successful. Okay, uh, that song, I uh, wasn't really feeling at all. Uh, C minus almost a, I just didn't really like it. Um, I just don't, I like her voice in it. I just do not like the beat at all. I'm not really a fan of a bunch of hi-hats that was not switched up enough. I just was not feeling the song. Might be different down the road, but right now, off, right off the first listen, not really feeling it. Pharrell Williams, Ugh. come on, child, get into 2018. Anyway, the next song is going to call, be called Every Time. I thought this was going to be like a cover of the Britney Spears song, but it's not. <laughs> okay, the four seconds of this song is better than the entire last song. The, the two past ones, always so much better. The beat, sorry, sucker. I love the song so far. Okay, that was a really good song. I really enjoyed that one. Such a step up from the other songs I was listening to. I'll probably give this one an A. I'll give this an A. Yeah. Could have been a touch more switch ups, but I love the beat. I love her melodies. I love the song. It was really good. The production was so much better. So much. Anyway, uh, let's jump into the next song called Breathing. Yep. Oh, I like this too. Okay, I love the guitar riff. I like the 80s type feel. I usually don't like 80s music, but I do like this style. I think it's really good, and I like the message so far. It's like, 
when the world is coming down, just breathe, just try to breathe, just let it go. And she's trying to work it out. So I do like that aspect though. Cause everyone I tell you has, so I know she was talking about it last night on Jimmy Fallon that um, she was talking about like having basically like an anxiety attack and this is how the song came about. So it's just gotta keep breathing and just, you know, but anyway, let's keep listening. Okay, that was really good, like I said. Um, I probably would give this an A. I'll go ahead and give this an A plus. I really enjoyed this song. I thought it was really, really good. And I like the B. I like the her alibs. I love her just her voice is so good and like so strong. It's like ridiculous. Uh it was really good. I really enjoyed it. So then uh next song is No Cure No Tears Left to Cry. I already did everything for that as well, so we jumping over that. So the next song will be called Borderline featuring Missy Elliott. Ooh. She's been gone for a while. Uh, that was a pretty okay song. I'll uh, probably give us a B minus. I wasn't really feeling it either. And I love um, Miss Elliott was in the song though, and I do like a bunch of aspects of the song. I just wasn't overall feeling it. It wasn't really my vibe, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, let's see. The next song is called Better Off. I did like that switch up. That was pretty good. <laughs> so far, it's pretty good. Uh, so. Uh, that was a pretty good song. Um, I probably would give this one an A, strong A. Um, I thought it was pretty good because like the message is really clear. Like I'm just better off without you. You do all this crazy mess. You smoke and you drink. I just rather off being free and a wild one, which means like like a single. Um, pretty good song, and I just it's, the message is relatable because that can apply to anybody. So the next one's called Good Night and Go. So let's listen. That was a really good note. <clears throat> really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the, so far, the song's really good. I like the beat. And <clears throat> just everything about the song's really good.
Whoa, that ending was so good. I love it when people hit their upper register, especially for females. I feel like that's so good. It was, so, it was like almost angelic. Like, it was really, really, really good. I really enjoyed the song. A plus for me. I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> so the next song is called Pete Davidson. So let's listen to that. Mm. Okay, that was a pretty good little interlude. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Um, A plus. It was really good. <laughs> the last song is going to be Get Well Soon. So let's jump right into that song. Why is there like 40 seconds left of emptiness? Okay, that's weird. Um, okay song, I probably will give this a B minus. Wasn't really feeling it again. Um, I did like how she was, she was changing directions uh, for the last song. It was more like an R&B type of song, which I thought was pretty good. Um, still enjoyed it, just wasn't really feeling it, feeling it. But overall, this album, if I had to rate it, a to F. I give it a strong B. I feel like it's pretty fair. There's some songs I did not like. There's some certain songs I did like. So I feel like that's a good little balance. So um, to me, the better songs are <clears throat> The Interludes are really good. Um, God is Woman is really good. Every Time is Good. Breathing. Better Off. Good Night and Go are all really good. The rest of the songs are just kind of, I wasn't really feeling it. Some of them were pretty decent. Um, but other than that, really good album. I thought it was really strong. Uh, it's better than some albums I've listened to. Cause some of these, let's see, this is probably the first album review I've done in 2018, like from this year. Cause pretty much all the other, other albums I've listened to from this year. Whoa, not that great. But I feel like overall this was pretty damn good. So I love her voice. Her voice is like incredible. I really enjoyed it. And that's what I did for this video. So if you watched this entire video, thank you. You are awesome. And just don't forget to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the album. Do you agree, disagree? What's your favorite song? What's your favorite part? If you have any other suggestions for any, any other music, TV shows, or movies, or trailers, please also let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe because it helps me out a lot. And I hope y'all enjoy, and I hope y'all have a super awesome day when you watch this. Bye.